Hey, and welcome back to another video in my eBay parts repair playlist, the playlist of videos where I go on eBay and purchase broken electronic items and try and fix them on camera. What we have today is this. It's two iPods, one uh, seventh gen nano, one sixty gig, and one fifth gen nano, uh, probably a thirty gig. I forgot. Um, they go, I got them for the price on screen. It was pretty cheap considering that the one hundred sixty gig seventh gen nano go usually go for an excess of one hundred fifty dollars. This one's untested. Uh, plus the five, the fifth gen is also a uh, free add-on. I basically bought it only for the seventh gen. The, the fifth gen was just an add-on. If I'm lucky, it might be a enhanced fifth gen. Let me get you an example. This is the enhanced fifth gen. I know that with, by the, the serial number V9M. I have another white one as well. Uh, there's a list of serial numbers that... Uh, the enhanced version is the enhanced version has a improved audio deck so it sounds better than the standard version um if this is a 60 gig then it's definitely not an enhanced one uh but before we jump right in don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps me out a lot also hit that bell notification button to get notified whenever i upload a new video I'm on Instagram, Discord, and Twitter, and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below as I reply really fast to messages and we can have a discussion, especially on Discord. You could also message me on Instagram, and I do reply. All right, let's open this thing and see what's up. Uh, they might be working, they might not be working, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of obvious. iPod Classics, they almost always work when they're untested. Um... It's always going to be the hard drive that's shot, so I do not replace the hard drives with iFlash cards because I don't use... Uh, I Well, I do use an iPod, like, I do use this 5th gen quite daily, of course, as you can see. I, I always... I love this iPod. I, I restored this in a different video. Uh, you can go check that out. It's in my... It's on my channel. Um, but I don't use iPods. I just collect them. Uh, in general, especially classics. They're too big for me. Um, so I just leave them in my collection box. So I'm not going to spend money on uh, iFlash cards, uh, which are like $40. Uh, I think they're $40. Is the single card $30? I've seen them for like $30. Uh, I'm not going to spend... Uh, money on those. I could buy another iPod with that money. Uh, wow, this guy has wrapped it really well. Uh, this was, if you saw, this was from Macari, not from, uh, not from, uh, eBay. So here's the seventh gen, not in the greatest condition. Uh, it is 160 gigs. Let me get some light in here. Hold up. Let me get a better light here. All right. Never mind the light. Uh, I, I've, I've got some stuff charging, so I can't really plug the light there. But anyway, um, doesn't look too good on the back. Uh, looks pretty decent on the front. The 7th Gen, all buttons seem to work properly. Let's take this one. Started to delaminate. I saw this in the photo. There's nothing much you can do. You can only replace it. This is due to temperature changes and stuff. Um, LCD also looks okay. Let's see if I got lucky this time. And if this is a 5.5 Gen. Yep, it is a 5.5 gen. I got lucky again. So I know that by if, if you can see the serial number, it ends with V9K. V9 is always always um going to be back is going to be the 5.5 uh, gen. So another 5.5 gen uh iPod Classic. Uh not in good good as good condition as my other ones. I have a white one somewhere. I can't just I can't find it right now. This black one also looks amazing. This one that I had from earlier. Uh, this one is probably the one that is in least good condition. But let's plug them in and see if they work. Okay, so let's test the uh, 160 first. Um, display looks a bit screwed up. There's one line across the display. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there is one line across the display. Um, so we have to reset that one. Okay, the hard drive does not start up. It has the X, the red X. That is a common problem. Let's press, let's put this one on charge and see if it turns on. Mm. 
Oh, please wait really low battery that it says lightly there. So they both work. That one has the red, the red X issue. Um, I'm pretty sure and I try, if I try to reset it, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna start like, uh, it, it's gonna start giving me an error, but we'll see. Let's go get my laptop and be right back. Okay, um, let's uh, plug this in. Uh, by the way, the other one turned on and works perfectly. Um, we'll get to that in a bit, but first I want to try this. The red X um, almost always means the, uh, the um, hard drive is shot. So I might have to leave this on charge. Uh, it says charging, please wait. Let's just leave it, leave it like that for a while, see if it connects. Um, oh, so in the meantime, let me grab the other one. Works perfectly. Um, it doesn't seem to be have been used that much. There are a few songs on this thing. Um, we got a couple of songs by uh, Michael Jackson, Rihanna, etc., etc. There's some pirated stuff on this as well. Uh, quite a lot of songs. Um, let's see, artists... Um, music uh they've actually changed the layout they probably the way they like it the previous owners uh artists everything works fine on this thing um anthony hamilton akon we gotta check out we gotta check out akon let's see right now that's pretty old song beyonce i don't really know much of her songs uh dj paul keisha cole uh I don't know much of these uh, singers, obviously we know Michael Jackson, um, good selection. I don't listen to like pop that much, I generally listen to uh, metal and rock and a few pop songs. We got Neo, we got Rihanna, T.I. Um, well, this, the sensitivity of this wheel is quite, this one's quite sensitive. Uh, we got Trey songs. Um, quite a bit of songs on this iPod, but the hard drive works fine. It's actually really quiet, this hard drive. Um, it's really quiet. The hard drive works fine. By looking at the amount of songs on this thing, I'm assuming that this uh, owner didn't use it that much. And look how shiny it is. Well, it's not really shiny. It's not as shiny as that one. But once I wiped it down, it's quite, it's quite in decent condition compared to the other one so i feel like it's not not have been it's it has not been used that much um the battery is also probably good on this thing so yeah either way uh this one works i'll just leave it to charge that i'll turn that off leave it to charge i'll probably listen to the songs that are on that thing later i just like okay so this thing turned on um as you can see, but you can hear the noise as well. Can you hear that? There is a rubbing noise. The hard drive is shot on this thing. Uh, it's pointless even restoring it. It's not going to do anything. Uh, this thing needs a hard drive or an iFlash card, which I will never do. Uh, but either way, I guess we got one working iPod that I can use for some time out of it uh it's a shame that this thing has that delamination thing it's just like the the light comes right through it as you can see light comes through the uh the delaminated parts as you can see there but either way oh well, i'm pretty happy that i got these two for like really cheap um this one will work fine with a new uh memory a new hard drive or an eye flash but i'll never do that i'm just gonna keep it somewhere either way uh that's it for this video, I guess. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps me out a lot. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.